Hey everyone, in this video, I want to quickly cover a tool that you can use to debug performance issues in your Django apps. So what I have here is a really simple example of loading some items from the database and then also loading some child objects for each object from the database. So this is something that's very common that you'll do in an app and it's very easy to introduce performance issues when you're doing something like that. So I wanna show you a tool that you can use to uh, find those issues and how to fix them uh, if you happen to have that exact same issue. So first, let me show you what I have. I have this populate function that just added the data into the database. Um, I have this template that loops over some query results. And then I have models.py, which has this item and item details. So it's all very simple, just an example. And here in views, all I'm doing is I'm querying for all the objects and I'm returning them to the template. So pretty straightforward. So this example that I have is fine when there are only three items, but the more items you have, the more problematic this will become because it's just going to increase the number of queries based on the number of items that you have. Ideally, to generate a page, you want as few queries as possible. In this particular case, you only need one really, uh, but just generally, you wanna have as few queries as possible. You don't wanna have the number of queries grow as your data grows over time because your data is going to constantly grow. So the tool that you can use to fix this is called Django Silk. So I'm going to install it. So UV add Django dash Silk. And to install it, it's really easy. So there are just three things that you have to do. So first you have to go to your installed apps in your project and you need to add Silk. So here, Silk. And then you need to add some middleware. So you can go down to your middleware and where is my middleware actually? Did I miss it? Oh, there we go. So here you wanna add it somewhere in your middleware. It shouldn't be early. Um, in this particular case, I can put it last because of the middleware that I have, the defaults. Um, but depending on your middleware, you might wanna put it somewhere in the middle. If you have any middleware that won't necessarily return a response, you wanna put silk before that. So here I'll put it at the end. Um, so silk.middleware.silky middleware. So that's the name of it. So you just add it to your middleware there. And then finally, you need to create um, a URL. So let me go to URL.py, not necessarily one URL, but a bunch. So what you can do here is you can include a path called silk. And we're gonna include a uh, silk.urls. And then um, they recommend a namespace. So I'll give the namespace silk, right? So that's all you have to do. So now let me start up my project. So manage.py run server. And I just need to import include here, but same idea. All right, and then the last thing I can do is just migrate. So I'll do uv run manage.py migrate to migrate the stuff from the silk app. And then I can start my server. So uv run manage.py run server. And now I can go to the silk endpoint that I just created, so slash silk, and we get this here. So. This has some summary data on this first tab. This requests tab has uh, all the requests that happen in my app. And then uh, profiling and clear DB will you know, clear everything out. So let me go in another tab and go to my homepage again. And we see I get the homepage. And once I do that, I can refresh my uh, silk endpoint and I get some information here. So it has one request in the summary and it gives me information. So I don't really care about the summary in this particular example. Uh, imagine you have like a bunch of different requests across your app and we see here this get request on slash. So the index uh, has seven queries. So I can click on this and I can get more information about what's going on. And the important thing that I'm looking for here is going to be the SQL. So I'll just go to SQL and we see for this one request, I have several queries for app item detail. So this is something that you don't want. So what's happening here is the more items that I have, the more times it's going to query this app detail uh, model. And that's not what I want. I want it to query at most once for something as simple as this page. And because I just have like one simple query in my code, if I go back to that, uh, I really want to reflect that with the actual database query. So maybe one or two queries and that's it. So to fix this particular issue, all I have to do is add dot prefetch related and then uh, details here. 
and that will fix it. So if I go here and refresh again, and then I go back to my uh, requests here, we see the first request was seven queries, and then the second one that I just did is two queries. So if I go to SQL here, um, I see that I have one query for app item and one query for app item detail. And I can look at the details, what that exactly means. Basically for the app item detail, I'm just looking for the IDs in one, two, or three. There are different strategies that Django can use to uh, combine the results for these two queries, but I'm just using the default right now with prefetch related. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video. So what you can do is if you see any of your endpoints having a bunch of queries, um, you can see if there are repeats like this, and then you can go and fix your code. And then you can easily see if it has been updated or not. And there are some other things with Silk, so you should explore that more. But uh, this was the main thing I wanted to talk about in this video, because oftentimes when I look at other people's code, they have issues like this. And it's so easy to fix, but it's not so easy to recognize. So um, using a tool like Silk will help you recognize that. If you're interested in learning more about how prefetch related and select related works, things that can fix the problems that I talked about in this video, go to this video next and you can learn all about that.